Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math algebra problem and here we have m plus m plus m equals m multiplied by m multiplied by m. So here we solve this problem for the values of m. So now if you focus in the left hand side uh, then you see here uh, this is uh, m is added by three times so we write it as three times of m and here you see that m is multiplied by three times so we write it as m cubed okay so if you find the value of m by inspection then uh, you easily see that the value of m is equals to zero but now if you focus on the degree of this term so uh, the degree of this term is three it means that this equation has three roots so now we need some working to find all of these three roots okay so now we, uh, we make some working to find these three roots and now here first we move this 3m to the right hand side and it will be written as m cubed minus 3m equals to 0 so here uh, we need to take common m and uh, we obtain here m squared minus 3 equals to 0 so now you see here uh, here we divide this uh, equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take uh, m is equals to 0 and the second case is we take uh, m squared minus 3 equals to 0 so m equals to 0 be the trivial uh, uh, solution so now in order to find the other two solutions here we need to solve this uh, pure quadratic equation okay so now uh, here we write this 3 as into the squared form so we have m squared minus we write this 3 as square root of 3 and its whole squared equals to 0 so now you see here this is m squared minus square root of 3 squared uh, so here we apply the nice algebraic formula so if we have uh, a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b here we need this nice formula to solve the above equation but you see here uh, here our a is equals to m and our b is equals to square root of 3 uh, so uh, after applying uh, this formula we will write uh, the above equation as m minus square root of 3 into m plus square root of 3 equals to 0 so now we uh, again convert this into the two cases so that our first case is uh, we take m minus square root of 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m plus square root of 3 equals to 0 so in the first case uh, we easily get the value of uh, m is equals to square root of 3 because this is minus square root of 3 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes plus square root of 3 and this is the uh, second real solution of the given equation and here we move this plus square root of 3 to the right hand side and it will becomes m equals to minus into square root of 3 okay this is uh, the third uh, real solution of the given equation so finally we have the three real solutions of the given equation are m1 equals to 0 and m2 equals to square root of 3 and m3 is equals to minus square root of 3 so these are the three solutions of the given equation uh, and now uh, here uh, we just check these solutions uh, or we see that uh, uh, how uh, many solutions are satisfied the given equation so that here first we need to copy down the given question statement so given question statement is m plus m plus m equals to m multiplied by m multiplied by m okay so now uh, here uh, we need to verify the first solution so that our first solution is m1 equals to 0 so here we substitute 
this m1 equals to 0 to uh, this equation on both of the sides and you see that if you put m1 0 it means that m0 plus 0 plus 0 uh, is equals to 0 multiplied 0 multiplied by 0 so uh, 0 uh, is if you add 0 3 times you get 0 and if you multiply 0 3 times you get 0 this shows that uh, the first solution satisfied our given equation and now we verify our second uh, solution our second solution is m2 equals to square root of 3 so now we verify the second solution and in the second solution here we need to substitute this m value of m on both of the sides of the given equation so that uh, our given equation is written as square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 equals uh, here we multiply square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3 okay so here we substitute our second root uh, in the given equation and here you see that this k root of 3 is added by 3 times or in other words uh, if we take common square root of 3 then here you get a 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals here you see that uh, the if you multiply square root of 3 by square root of 3 then we write it as square root of 3 and its whole squared into here you have this is square root of 3 and now you see here uh, from this step uh, we have a square root of 3 into 3 because you add 1 on 3 times you get 3 and similarly in the right hand side you see here these two and square root are gone and you get 3 into square root of 3 so similarly, clearly you see in the left hand side our left hand side is 3 into square root of 3 equals 3 into square root of 3 it means that left hand side is equals to right hand side so the second solution also satisfied the given equation and now we move towards our third solution so our third solution is m3 equals minus square root of 3 and now we check this third solution so that here we substitute this third solution into the given equation uh, so that uh, we have uh, uh, we add this square root of 3 on 3 times because this is a minus square root 3 so all of these terms becomes negative and in the right hand side we have minus square root of 3 multiplied by minus square root of 3 multiplied by minus square root of 3 okay so here uh, you see that this will becomes minus 3 times of square root of 3 and similarly if you multiply these two terms it will becomes minus square root of 3 and its whole square into multiplied by minus square root of 3 so the uh, you see that the square of minus become positive these two and square root are gone then you get 3 this will become the negative minus 3 into square root of 3 and minus 3 into square root of 3. So this shows that uh, all of three roots are satisfied the given equation and this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.